Oh, here we are, buddies, freaking at the Freakers Ball, right here, live on RealLibertyMedia.com, on uh, the Freakers Ball show page, channel one, if uh, you prefer to look at it that way, it's all up to you, you know, it's all good, whatever works. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it's Friday night here, July 19, 2019, I see the Moose Girl there in the chat, and she will be here with us momentarily you tell me how long a moment is and that's how long it'll be till she gets here anyway hi and howdy and welcome to all the folks out there at all the various places where the freakers ball audio stream goes out to and that would be well not only on real liberty media.com but rlmradio.xyz over there on real liberty.org freedoms network.com internet radio tune in and other places uh, so, <laughs> welcome to all you folks out there, if you are out there and uh, listening. Uh, the main part, the main show, though, is right here on the uh, video stream, video feed, which uh, comes to us courtesy of Vaughn.Live slash Real Liberty Media. Yes, indeed, it's a, it's a, it's a good, I, I like them. You know, they're not a perfect site, uh, but what do you want for nothing? Rubble biscuit? <laughs> Anyway, hopefully you're all out there doing fine, ready for the weekend. It's going to be a hot one. It was certainly a hot one today, uh, here and yesterday as well, but for, the, for all that matters. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be warm across the a large portion of these United States of America, according to the uh, weather guessers, and they're guessing it's going to be hot. I probably, I think they're probably right. Probably not as hot as they're guessing it's going to be, but uh, it's going to be warm. You can be sure of that. Uh, you know, last week they guessed that the, the, that New Orleans was going to be flushed out to the ocean, or the Gulf anyway, uh, and that didn't happen. So uh, it'll probably be warm, very warm uh, across the, a good portion of the U.S., but yeah, I, I don't see hundreds of people dropping dead. Uh, in piles of their own sweat. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. <laughs> uh, Cowboy Tech is uh, saying here in the chat it's been 115 plus uh, in Bullhead, Arizona. Of course, it's that a lot there in Bullhead, Arizona. That's that's not really uh, that all surprising. Down there in St. Petersburg, Florida, I'm looking at a 74.8 degrees Fahrenheit in, uh, up in Cowboy Tech land in Oregon. 72 degrees right now, a very nice 72 degrees, and 82 down there in uh, Swinney Switch, Texas, where Mr. Rob Works hangs out. Anyway, howdy, hi and howdy to all the folks here in uh, the chat room this evening on irc.frito.net in Pound Pound, Real Liberty Media. Yes, indeed, that's where you go to if you join the chat via reallibertymedia.com or rlmradio.xyz, or if you have your own IRC chat client. Any of those work. They, they all work. They're good. Uh, anyway, so hi and howdy to people like, well, people, uh, bots like Barman and people like Beetle and Cowboy Tech, myself and the Mighty Moose Girl, uh, Mr. DC, and Ty uh, Asmo. Now, I know it's not the same Asmo, but some guy named Asmodius over there on the Twitter, uh, seeing Vinny's tweet about his show today, uh, about the conspiracy theories and such. Vinny had a, a, a guest today, Chuck O'Chelly, on his show, the Ponder Gander program, and uh, so this guy responded, and he goes by the name of Asmodeus. Not the same Asmo we have here, although this Asmo is also an Asmodeus. Anyway, uh, going on, <laughs> we have Beth V and Chelsea Doty and free enslaved, free those enslaved people. We got Miss Graham Z, who did her great show earlier. Grab his rocket chair. She'll be back next Wednesday with another edition episode. Yep, uh, we got Mr. Java Doctor and Mr. Meister Meister Brow. Unless he's uh, out there uh, doing the Sticks concert. He gives security for various ty type of events. And I, I don't know if that Sticks show is tonight or not, but uh, he's supposedly doing it for that. We got Miss Kate down there in Florida. And Mr. Rob Works in Rome's in the Vanna White Pot. And the Vinny 
not so bot. <laughs> well, there's Meister Brown now. So apparently he's not at the Sticks concert. All right. I don't, like I said, I don't know when it is. We got the Weather Dork bot that tells you the weather, tells you when it's 100 degrees at your house. And Phantom, Cyborg Noodle, and the Civ. Uh, the Frumped One. Yes, he is so frumped. Uh, we have Gooberzilla. Goob! The hell's going on, man? Uh, pass me a beer, Goober. All right, we got Grommet. Huh? Or is it what? No, it's ha. Huh. <laughs> JJ's and Kiss. And the, the Pondergander, the other half of Vinny. Well, sometimes there's more than another half. Sometimes there's many halves of Vinny. I don't know how that works, really. We got Prince and Pone Sauce in the Smart Ass Bot. Oh, all kinds of folks there. Yeah, so um, I, I don't know if uh, everybody knows we're on. I, I think we could just tell people to hit the little now thing there in the chat room. And let people know, yeah, we're here. We're here. We're live. Well, I'm here right now. Moose Girl will be here. What was her exact message? She will be there ASAP. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know how long that is. Uh, anyway, so, uh, like I said, it's been hot. Um, and, and so because of that, I, you know, I'm still working on that stupid garden. And I, I don't know if it's going to do anything, but because it's been so hot, I've been uh, doing twice a day waterings rather than once a day. And uh, it, it, it sure, that ground out there sure soaks it up. I don't know where the hell all the water goes. It goes somewhere, though. I, I do like a, what I, I, I built all these uh, channels, uh, trenches uh, around everything. And, and so I just kind of fill those up with kind of a flood deal going on. Uh, I have certain areas that I, I actually flood out, which is uh, where the pinto beans should be, if they're actually there. There's something growing there. I'm thinking they're pinto beans, but I, I have no way of actually knowing. I, I'm see, ha, having never seen that type of plant grow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, I got I got uh, several different things going on. Uh, if I have stuff that does actually grow, I'm thinking pretty much it's going to be the tomatoes. The tomatoes are uh, no, no actual tomatoes yet, but the plants are looking healthy and looking good. Cover the ground with cardboard. Yeah, I suppose that's an option, but you know, it's it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not really going to worry about it too much this year. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do what I do with it. And then uh, next year I'm going to do it all different. I'm not going to I'm not going to plant this stuff in the ground next year. So uh, yeah, um, I'm going to I'm going to use uh, containers, whatever you call them, these little three gallon things to grow all the plants in there. And, and that that's that's a, a that seems like a much better way to go. I have um, like some apple trees growing in one container, um, and uh, I got four of them in this one. I think it's a five gallon, but uh, that those, those those seem to be doing very well, and they don't take that much water. Um, uh, watering the ground takes a whole lot more more water than watering the ground. Uh, so, um, and and my also I have some tomatoes growing in another another uh, container, a wooden one, um, which. <laughs> I don't know how well it holds water, but it seems to be doing pretty good. So uh, I, I like the idea, and I like fact, and I like tomatoes. So hopefully my tomatoes will be awesome, and hopefully I'll actually have some. That, and and that would be awesome. And I'll, you'll know if you listen to this show off into the couple of months into the future, and I should have some nice, cool, tasty tomatoes. I see Moose Girl a call in here. Let me... See if I could pick her up on the phone thing. I'm not hearing any noise. Oh, there she is. Hello? Hola! Hey, you know, I, I never even heard it ring. I just saw the little thing really? pop up. Yeah. I heard it ring. Well, yeah. You, yeah whatever. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all right. Well, I'm here. Well, good. I'm glad you're here. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing well as well. Good. So, uh, no moon dance for the moose. Well, not today, anyway. No moose dance. Too hot and supposed to storm up there, which it's probably doing right now. And Good night, I Grammy. I don't want to deal with it, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. 
All right. Well, Here that's I good. Am. You know, you got you, there'll be more, plenty more festivals throughout this summer. Oh yeah, you bet. Yeah. I mean, well, both the blue. Bolts and Bluegrass is coming up in September, so I have that one for sure to go to. Right. There's got to be some in August. Um, yeah, there's like the lot. The, they're local ones, though, which is fine. Yeah, local's good. That's good. Yep. You don't have to the, drive or uh, nothing. WHYS is the, it has their... Hello? Has their what? Hello? Sorry, I muted. Sorry. Oh, okay. No, um, WHYS has their Bluegrass Festival in August. Okay. Did you mute again? Shit. Shit. I'm trying to get it clipped and it keeps muting. And also, Duran has their blues festival Who? the first weekend in August. Who? Duran. Duran. It's a town that's 20, about 25 miles from Eau Claire. Oh, that's not too bad. No. So, yeah. 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 So, yeah, it is it's it is what it is, you know. Um, it is what it is. Yep. Okay. Um. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I, I didn't go today just because it was freaking hot, and like I said, it's going to it's gonna storm. Yeah, well, so, so you mentioned uh, you might go out on the river tomorrow. I might. I'm, it depends. I'll see what, what I'm going to do here. I might go up there to the festival still because the kitchen dwellers are playing tomorrow. The who? The kitchen dwellers, dude. So, like, they're cooks? No, I've told you about the kitchen dwellers before, and you gave me shit before. <laughs> it's a kitchen about dweller. the name of the band. It's they're a, a bluegrass band. They're not cooks. They're not. <laughs> yeah, they're just a band. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're hanging out in the kitchen. They better be make they food. Must be. Yeah, they must be. Well, better, I hope they're good cooks. I assume me, they make, are, they, but, yeah. Make me a damn sandwich. <laughs> right. Oh, crap. I'm going to take my dog out. All right. I'll, I'll go ahead and play some music here. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, then we'll, I'll have a good break, and I'll come back, and I'll be ready to go. Uh, yeah, not Duran, Duran, Guberzilla. Durand. No, Durand. It's a town. You yeah. are in. <laughs> Durand, Wisconsin. Uh, but you could say it twice if that makes you feel better. Yeah, Durand, Durand. Durand, Durand. But it's not the 80s <laughs> band, no. All right. All right. You take take the police out. I'll play some some jams here. And uh, y'all enjoy. This is, uh, we got some train songs here coming up. Traveling, going, moving. That there was Billy motherfucking strings <laughs> doing a song, doing Blackfoot song Trade Train uh, out in Las Vegas apparently uh, on uh, last year uh, in April at the Bender Jamboree. Looked like they were outside the Flamingo. Uh, anyway, before that, is, is the Flamingo still there? I don't know. Anyway, before that we had Wilco Johnson and Roger Daltrey uh, doing a track called Going Back Home, and uh, that's some that's some very nice stuff there. And we kicked it off with Tab Benoit, the Cajun monster, Samantha Fish, the uh, awesome everything there, and Selwyn Birchwood. Uh, he's, he's a great guitarist there, too. He's the guy with the big fro, if, if you didn't see him in the video there. Yeah, Selwyn Birchwood. Uh, that's a uh, blues bride, the production of a song called Night Train. Yeah, and uh, those guys on the, uh, on the on the brass there, uh, let's see, uh, we had Ro- Ro- Reggie Oliver on the saxophone on uh, that uh, that particular track there. And uh, Terrence Higgins, he was a big boy on the bass guitar. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, good stuff, good stuff. I hope you liked all that. Uh, good, good, uh, good. Uh, kick it out. Kick it out to James to get the stuff moving on. Right yes, very here. good. Thank yeah. you for playing that Billy Strange song. Oh, sure. Yeah, no, it's just amazing. I like Billy, man. He's, he's a good kid. He's amazing, and his band's amazing. It's, he's incredible. Yeah, Like, yeah. I can't say enough about that kid. Well. I seriously cannot say uh, enough about here, him. Here's the thing about him. He's a kid. Right. So you're going to have he's many... He's like 24 ma- years old, and he's got this old school voice, and he's so talented on guitar, and he 
recruited all these awesome musicians to back him up in his band, and it's just like, dude, you're fucking awesome. Yeah, so so anyway, you're going to have a, a lot of years of, uh, of Billy Strings. Oh, yeah, he can only get better, and he's so young. It's like, right. look out, keep on the lookout for him. Yeah, but as long as, long as he sure. doesn't do, you know, like a Hendrix or something. Right, exactly. Or yeah. Morrison. So anyway, um, the, mo- the, the, the festival I was going to go to, I decided not to go today because I knew it was going to be super hot all day. Right. And then I looked at the Wausau weather forecast, the Wausau news station, Wausau, Wisconsin, because the festival is like an hour and a half north of Wausau, or no, maybe an hour or so, 45 minutes north of Wausau, something like that. Okay. Anyway, or maybe closer. But anyway, they're, like, calling for a moderate moderate risk of, like, severe weather. And then we had a storm blow through here, too. Right. But we only got... Eau Claire was, like, mist. Like, we only got the the south end of the storm. It barely rained here. It it was not that bad. Okay. But the moon dance comes out on Facebook, and I posted it in the chat. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you're aware we got hit by a, we just got hit extremely hard by a powerful storm. Everyone out here is pretty much safe, other than a couple of injuries from flying debris. Most of the sound equipment has been destroyed. We are in shock with what has just happened, but we are extremely grateful that everyone seems to be rel- relatively safe. Right. All the music for the rest of the night is canceled. We are going to wait until morning to ex- assess the damage, decide what to do next. So uh, they got hit. I knew it. I just had a feeling. And I'm like, you know what? I am not going there. I'm not going to, like, go there and set up a tent and everything and have this big storm roll through and, yeah, you know. Yeah, no, it's great. I, I, I'm i glad you didn't go because you don't need to be messing with all that crap. No, it was a powerful storm. Like, they were saying, like, they cut into the NBC station on the, the TV for, like, three hours. Yeah. You know, because um, the storm hit just north of Eau Claire. Right. And so there was some uh, reports of trees down, no reports of injuries yet, but it was a powerful one. And obviously if Moondance got hit that hard, then, yeah, fuck. Yeah. Kind of glad I wasn't there. Right. Yeah. Um. It's just... It is what it is, you know. But I just hope everyone's safe there and they get the concert back going. If they don't, then it, it, people are going to be mad. I mean, you can't control the weather, though. You know, that's the risk you take when you buy a, a ticket for an outdoor festival. You oh, don't absolutely. know what the weather is going to do. You, you don't. You can't predict that. The people that put the festival on can't predict that. Yeah. You know, they could have maybe kept their sound equipment safer, though. Well, yeah, but they, mean, they gotta, there's got to be more. I mean, there's got to be more equipment that didn't well, get Well, you would think so. I would hope so. I mean, it said most of it was destroyed. So, I, I mean, usually when they, uh, there's two stages there. There's, there's one that's like in a pavilion that's kind of like, it's, it, there's no walls, but it's a pavilion. So it's like there's a roof, you know? Yeah. And they have this huge bar and everything. The sides are open, but um, that sound equipment m- might be okay. But depends on where it was located. If it got pelted by the goddamn storm, I don't know. But the outdoor stage, they have like a tent set up. You know, one of those white tents or whatever? Yeah. That they put the sun equipment under there. Yeah. But if that got fucked up, then they're screwed. Sure. Yeah. Sure. There's, I mean, they, they might be able to do just shows in the indoor pavilion there. Right. Well, and, well... <laughs> Here's the but, thing. Uh, it probably but, says somewhere on the ticket that, you know, they... they uh, not no, responsible for... Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. Right. I can't control the weather, Google. No, you, I can't control it. You, you, you may be the able to. The fucking government and HARP and shit thinks that they can control the weather, like the Japanese and the Chinese or whatever, with this cloud seeding and all this fucking shit they try to do to control the fucking weather. Right. I mean, they might be successful in some things, but they can't They can't mimic Mother Nature. No. Mother Nature will kick your motherfucking ass. 
and even not even the goddamn government. What? And not even blink when she's doing no, it. No, no. She'll just kick your fucking ass and be like, whatever. And, and don't take know. it personal. Don't take it personal. Because she don't care. Well, no. No, she don't. <laughs> it's not a personal thing. It's just if you're in the way, the wrong place at the wrong time, Mother Nature can seriously fuck you up, dude. Yes, yeah, she can. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, I don't mean the band members. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, no. But whatever. Um, it, yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway, let's kick it off with this story here. All right. Because uh, Rome, Rome's just posted a, a different link than the one I have about it. But oh, okay. He posted one from Mother Jones, which is a site I tend to avoid. Right. Uh, and I also tend to avoid the site that I found this one on, which is Yahoo. <laughs> uh, but this is the one I found it on this morning. So yes. Here you go. From Yahoo. Yahoo. Earlier today. Trump EPA refuses to ban chloropyrophias. I don't know how you say this. It, it, it can't be good, whatever it is. Chloropyrophos, a pesticide linked to brain damage in children. Brain. In children. So it says the brain. EPA. The EPA announced yesterday that it will allow this chloropyrophos. Uh, well, I don't know, man. Uh, a widely right. a widely used pesticide that's been linked to learning disabilities in children to remain on the market for agricultural use. Okay, so, yeah, you, whatever, buddy. You're so, fucking more motherfucking dumbass. So, so you'll be eating this, anyway, or you have been right. eating it. It'll be in your food. It's, yeah, it's, it's in your food. Yeah, yeah. A, the decision is a major win. For the chemical and agricultural industries, and a blow to environmental groups. Well, what about us that aren't part of any of those? I'm not part of chemical or agricultural industry. I'm not part of an environmental group. I don't want to eat your freaking poisons. Anyway, uh, anyways, that, anyways, uh, environmental groups that have fought for years to force the agency to ban the chemical. In its final order, the EPA said petitioners' claims that the chemical poses a risk to brain development are not supported by valid, complete, and reliable oh, sure. evidence. Yeah, that's the excuse they always is, give is, you. Is this, is this, the, 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 is, is this oh, not a, a, an absolute echo of what the Monsanto lies were all? Exactly. Okay. And the EPA spokesman said that the agency will continue to assess the safety of the, of the chemical through 2022. So, um, yum, uh, the, the chlor chloropriophis, whatever, also known by its trade name, Lohr's Ban, is used in nearly 100 countries on more than 50 different crops. Oh, and, wonderful. Including corn, soybeans, cranberries, and broccoli. Now, it doesn't list all of the various uh, plants it's, it's used on, but no. you can be sure that something you're eating has this sprayed on it. Right. <laughs> it was almost entirely banned for at-home use. It's too dangerous for you to use at home, but it's fine if you go to the grocery store and buy food that's got this stuff on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. So, And that that ban happened in 2000. And, and in November 2015, the Obama administration proposed permanently banning it on food crops, citing potential risks to human health. But former EPA administrator Scott, administrator, Scott mm -hmm. Pruitt, reversed course in March 2017, shortly after Trump took office. Because he uh, got paid off. Yeah. Uh, signing an order to allow for its continued use. The no, move, that paid off. Uh, the move defied the recommendation of the EPA scientists, and Pruitt offered little explanation other than to say the Obama administration relied largely on studies whose application is novel and uncertain to reach oh, its great. conclusions. <laughs> okay, it's a, it's Dow Chemical. That's who makes this stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Imagine that. Yeah. And they... And they, they, they the pack, makers of Napalm. They... they pack, well, uh, you know, Monsanto did that, too. Uh, anyway, okay. um, uh, <laughs> so they patented this crap back in the 1960s, and it was, until very recently, the largest manufacturer of pesticides. Uh, contributed to uh, could they contributed a million dollars to Mr. Donald Trump's of course they did. Uh, inauguration committee. Uh, the chemical is now made by Corteva Agriscience. 
Okay. Mm. Um, and the company that spun off from Dow DuPont last month. Uh, <laughs> so it, it says studies have shown that children exposed to the organophosphate pesticides, such as chloropyrifos, uh, have an increased risk for abnormal neurodevelopment, including persistent loss of intelligence and behavior problems. So, yeah, you want to dumb them down, just keep spraying that freaking poison on them. Oh, yeah. um, uh, it's an even low-dose exposure to the organophosphates, particularly in the womb. So, eat up, moms, uh, has been found to harm brain development, leading to a higher risk of disorders like autism. Uh, residue of the chemical repeatedly turns up in nectarines, peaches, cucumbers, and other, yeah. other crops. Um, <laughs> oh, you could read the rest here, but um, yes, they're poisoning you, and they don't care. No. Uh, matter of fact, they'll do anything they can, right, to, to get more poisons to, into you, to keep that poison a flow in your we'll direction. Get the vaccinations, yes, we'll get the shot, get the shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yum, yum, yeah. yum. Mm, mm, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, can you well, say... Well, Monsanto gets hit hard by a fucking lawsuit, but it's just a drop in the bucket. They get a slap on the wrist. Right. Now, now can you say no, that word... No, you got these other companies that are out there doing the same exact goddamn thing. Okay, can you see that... It's just, wait, it never stops. <laughs> can you say that word there? What word? That word. Look at the chat there. Chlora... Harvard. Yeah, see? <laughs> It's, we know the core part, and then you get the pyra. Yeah, yeah, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Core pyrophos. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck. I don't even know. I'm probably not saying it right, but whatever. Yeah. Okay, so my thing is, and I'm going to go back to this because I believe in it. I know it's good. Is people start building your own goddamn sweat or uh, saunas. You can fucking get some of this toxic shit out of your body and out of your family's bodies. The yeah. best way to do that is through sweat. Sweating. Sweat like a pig. Sweat like a motherfucking pig. Aww. Don't squeal like one, but sweat like one. My barrel was bad. You know, I'm just saying, <laughs> it works. It gets the toxic. We sweat for a reason. Humans sweat for a reason. <laughs> yeah, and we it's do. not just to fucking cool off and shit like that. Yeah. It's also to get rid of toxins that, toxins that are in your body. In your Absolutely. System. And, and, and you I know... I believe in this wholeheartedly. What, Grim? Yeah, you'll, you'll know that you're sweating out the toxins and other right. stuff. Uh, say, for example, uh, maybe you eat, like, some garlic uh, right. food the night before. Or onions or whatever, yeah. Yeah. The, the next day, when you're sweating, you're going to smell... You're going to smell that you're gonna garlic smell. and those onions because it's coming out of your body. Yeah, yeah. and the only reason right. you're smelling that is because it's really pungent. But right, the, exactly. But other stuff is coming out, too. All the, all the stuff. Oh, yeah, all the fucking bad shit. The human body is very amazing. And it, it if is, you guys... If, if people... Not you guys. If people would just... Try to do natural things instead of just going to the doctor and getting this man-made stuff that they prescribe to you. There's so many many things you can do for yourself that you don't need no goddamn doctor. You know, right. the doctor's not going to tell you to build a sauna and sweat sweat the toxins out. They're He's not, not going to. They don't want. They want you to be sick because they want to make money off your goddamn ass. Your sick fucking ass. Yeah. You come in there because of this or that, and they're like, "Oh, take this pill." It's like, you know what? This isn't health care. This is just death care. It's, 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 it's not even managing an illness. It's, it's just like, take this pill. No, it, it, it's, you know? it, it is. It, it's managing a disease, meaning that, you know, how right. like a baseball manager manages a team. You sick all the time. They're, they're, not, they're not trying to get rid of the team. No. They're, they're just managing it. So they don't want to get yeah. rid of your illness, your disease. <laughs> Yeah, no, seriously. I mean, you live in a perfect place, Meester, because you can fuck it, Woody, because you can walk outside and start sweating instantly. Maybe not so bad in Arizona, but right today in Wisconsin, I walked outside and I instantly started sweating. Because yeah. it was that fucking hot out. It was that All humid right. it was that hot. I mean, as soon as you start doing anything, like moving in any way, you're going to start fucking sweating. Right, it don't take long. No, it doesn't with humid weather and hot weather. 
and then it was ripe for storms. So I just knew that this day would not be a good day for me to go up to that festival, especially when they're calling for tornadoes and shit up there. But let me tell you. I'm like, I'm not going up there. I'm going to be fucking in my car or in a tent. You know, I'm not going to have a lot of protection from this goddamn tornado if I'm fucking sitting up there in a goddamn festival field. You know what I mean? Which is grassy and everything. It's a nice spot. Right. But it's a wide open goddamn field. You know, with trees lying around it. You know, it's like, okay, this is, you know, this could be bad. Right. You know, I'm kind of glad now after the announcement they made that I didn't go, you know. I'm oh, sorry to go back to that. But yeah. anyway, uh, what I'm saying is there's so much things you can do to protect yourself or combat the toxins that you're exposed to daily which we all are. You can't escape it. You can't escape the chemtrails. If they're sprayed in your fucking area, just because you, you, you're you aware of them, you know what they are, doesn't mean that you're immune from them. Right, Rome's. It's when you don't sweat. Like my son, for a long time, he'd be like, oh, I never sweat. I'd be like, there's something wrong with you, dude, because yeah, you're supposed to sweat. Absolutely. <laughs> you are. It, it's there for a reason. If we weren't supposed to do it, we, we wouldn't happen, you know? Yeah, you wouldn't have sweat glands all over your body. Exactly, right. So, you, you, you just be smart and do your own research. Don't fucking take your any advice from any website out there. I don't care what it, what it is. All I don't right. care what fucking website it is out there. Don't get your information from there. Like, people give me shit sometimes because I post a daily mail link on in the chat room. Well... I'm sorry, but they got the best information so far. I'm not saying I believe it wholeheartedly or I buy into their goddamn shit, but I'm just saying they get the good pictures. They got correspondence all over the fucking world, apparently, because they get pictures like two minutes after an event happens. Yeah. Or whatever. After the L.A. Quake, quake happened, they fucking had pictures. Like, relatively quick. So... You know, I get it. It's a mainstream media site. Yes, it is. I am fully aware of that. Does it mean like I'm taking their, I'm soaking up the knowledge from their site? No. I'm using because you know that saying. Know your enemy. Sure. You know, know your enemy, so you know what the fuck they're gonna do. <laughs> All right. So don't you're gonna criticize me for posting some mainstream media link? What the fuck ever. That doesn't mean that's where I get my 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 knowledge from, or where I make, or how I make my decisions based on the, what website I link in the chat room. If right. I was constantly um, chat linking CNN or Fox or that kind of shit, sure, call me out on it. We'll call you home. Uh, even well, Grim today, it, it, he's it, like, "I'm sorry, but the last story you talked about, it's a Yahoo.com. Yeah. It was from Yahoo.com. Right, right." Okay? How much more mainstream media can you get than that? Um, some. So to sit there and assume <laughs> that a person's gaining their knowledge only from a mainstream media website is asinine. Yeah. And well, you, and you, you, you could, could even call them out and go, oh, Daily Mail link. Oh, okay. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, well, guess what? Well, and you, the only link I could find <laughs> on the subject at the moment. Quickly. And you, you could tell it was a, a mainstream site just by the title. Right. Trump, right. Trump's yeah. EPA. <laughs> exactly. So anyway. don't be calling. I mean, <clears throat> just because someone posts a posting link in a chat room from a mainstream media site does not mean that's where they get their knowledge or make how they make their decisions. Unless their name so is Hans. If they're, to if, make that assumption is just asinine. If their if their name is Hans and they're posting a Fox News link, you pretty much then know that. the assumption, and you'll probably be right by yeah. making that assumption. <laughs> But just keep in mind, assumptions are assumptions. They're not the end, end all be all. Right, right. They're, yeah. You can exactly. make, you can assume something, but then the end result is going to be totally not what you assume. Yeah. Anyway, so try um, to avoid doing that. Uh, yeah, anyway, you know, not everybody wants to get rid of the toxins and poisons in their body. They don't. No. Here's a new article for you from. <laughs> WCVB. That's just stupid too, then. That, that, oh, ahead. these I, I, I'm, unimaginable how stupid people are. Oh, I know. People over overdosing on mess alternative made from wasp spray. Oh yeah, I heard about this. <laughs> it's 
That has something to do. Overdoses last week. Yeah, quiet, you. Uh, anyway, so police in West Virginia are warning people about an alarming drug trend. Uh, we're seeing this here on the streets in Boone County. Uh, people are making a synthetic type mess am mess amphetamine out of but wasp you need spray. To say, you need to say where Boone County is. What state is it in? West Virginia. I said West Virginia. Okay. I no, that? I thought this was in Indiana. Oh no! This is well. They, they're probably doing it there too. Oh, I'm sure they are. Yeah, okay, I, all right. So okay. anyway, uh, authorities believe that at least three people overdosed last week because they used insect repellent to make a meth alternative. <laughs> and then it goes on it goes on to say, in my opinion, drugs are so bad around here. This ain't a drug. It's a freaking wasp poison. <laughs> yeah. No shit. <laughs> it's also okay. available to people, and then all the time trying. Uh, things new we wouldn't even think about. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't consider spraying wasp poison up my nose. Um, <laughs> no, why would you do that? Why oh, would you yeah. think that's cool? Why would you think, oh, I could get high off of it. It's going to uh, kill my brain cells, but I don't care. Uh, the guy said that uh, the, the effects of using it are erratic behavior and extreme swelling and redness of the hands and feet. Uh, for starters, death is another side effect. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, by the way, from it what can't kill you. from what we're being told, if you use it, you know, you might use it once or twice and be fine. But the third time, when your body hits that allergic reaction, it can kill you. It's a cheap fix, and you don't know what uh, overall result of using this is going to be. Authorities are working with poison control to determine the best treatment for someone using wasp spray as a drug. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to say, just shoot them. Just, just, I, that, if, if, if they want, uh, if, if they want to snort poison, I mean, stuff that says like right, right on it, this is poison, uh, and they're snorting it, just, just get it over with. Just, 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 <laughs> anyway, the article details how inspect insect spray is used to get high. In case you were wondering, in case you might want to try it yourself, uh, they, they tell you how to do it here. Uh, <laughs> not exactly, but the active, <laughs> the active ingredients in pesticides is a class of molecules known as pyrethroids, pyrethroids uh, which penetrate the insect's nervous system. In insects, pyrethroids stun, then kill. In humans, they block proper nerve signaling, causing abnormal sensation in the worst case, seizures and even paralysis. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's, mm -mm, start up. Let's, let's shoot that up in our veins. Yeah, uh, okay. The spray also causes overactivation of the sympathetic nervous system, which can lead to excitability, heart Ooh, racing, and uh, difficulty breathing. Right. Oh, baby, give me some of that. <laughs> 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 what? How did I, that's is that the right link? Oh no! no I, that's I, I, how I, the eleven astronauts trained in I, 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 I scrolled down too far. It's one of those sites that. That's okay. Uh, hopefully, this is the right one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, yeah. If you, it's one of those fucking sites where you scroll down and it changes the story. Yeah, I hate that. Oh, those <laughs> bastards! <laughs> fucking bastards! Oh, Internet God. fucking fuckers! Just leave well enough alone one time. Just see what happens. Leave it well enough alone. Like, why do you gotta fuck with shit constantly? Like, I get it. You know, if you gotta fuck with shit constantly, you have a you have a problem. Like, you need to smoke some weed or something. Smoke some. Smoke like, some if you're fucking that hyper, you need to smoke some goddamn weed. Smoke smoke some wasp. Smoke, I would suggest weed. Smoke some wasp spray. <laughs> All right. And then I people. There's, oh, go ahead, uh, uh, No, go ahead. You go ahead. No, you're going to say something. Well, I was going to start a different story, but so you go ahead. That's, no, go ahead. Okay. It wasn't my, yeah. I, I, I don't even really know what to make of this story because, okay. well, you're you're probably not going to go out, be able to go out and buy one, and I'm probably not going to be able to. Um, and they have a specific purpose, but they do ask a good, good question. It says, get ready because flamethrower drones are going on sale very soon. What could possibly go what? wrong? What? What? This what? Can't, what? what could possibly go wrong? 
Oh, um, I ah, wow. <laughs> and, but but that. but see, I, I I almost quit reading the article at the first head, the first uh, sentence, but I, I went past it just because the information about what they're doing is is still good, even though this person's a freaking nutbag. Um, okay, they start off by saying, considering that extreme and growing heat is one of the biggest problems facing human society today. I almost barfed right at that point, um, <laughs> because bullshit. Anyway, it would be safe to assume the last thing we need is more fire in our lives. But who are we fooling? Fire has always been an inseparable part of what makes us human, be it as a means of making food edible, a tool in battle, or, according to Sigmund Freud, an element that has been a key point of origin for most societies. And now the flame thro the throw flame company, which bills itself as the oldest flamethrower manufacturer in the United States, is hoping to extend the burn to those uh, hard to reach spots that uh, just begging to be scorched. So you know they want to use it for uh, you know things like back burns that they do and and uh, for forest you know keep forest management and, and you can check and all that stuff. Um, but it flies around and they've got a little video here you can watch talk, oh you can you can spray flame for, for at 200 feet for a minute and a half um, and and it does spray a lot of fire but I think that's a fairly short time but enough time to get some good fires going um, but what they don't mention here is uh, wait until your uh, local police department gets their hands on one of these and uses it for crowd control how do you do the the definition, Graham? What's uh, the, the type D, the trigger? Uh, dot D E F. Okay. Yeah. So um, yeah, I, 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 to me it's it's <laughs> Lolita, a sexually precocious girl. <laughs> it doesn't even mention that she's underage. Um, yeah, it's a, based on the novel by uh, the fucking uh, the Russian dude. Yeah, that Russian guy. It's based on a novel where a, a, an adult seduces Vladimir Nabokov. Nabokov, yeah. an adult yeah. seduces a child. That's why they call it the Lolita Express, because there was underage girls on that fucking plane. Right. That were made to be there to fuck these fuckers. So, they don't call it that for no reason. Right. You know, if you can give me a good reason other than that, the, the, why they call it the Lolita Express? Get back to me. Oh, that's because why they call it that. That's fucking sick. That, that's absolutely why they call it that because it is why they call it that. But, There's no reason why they wouldn't call it that. Uh, I think I think the girl was supposed to be like what thirteen in the story. Yeah. Yeah. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen-year-old girls. Oh, they no, and much younger actually. Yeah. And now, now I, 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 I think I think I mentioned this last week on the show. I'm not positive, but. Apparently, there's a there's a um, a dividing line where I where kids yeah. if if people the younger the better no 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 no, no if see the virgins go for more money see there's, yeah. there's no there's a thing yeah. called there's a thing if if you like if the person likes kids that are 11 years old and younger right or you can go they, 13 or older right but if you if they're if you like them 11 years old and younger you're a pedophile uh, after that you're a Hepophile or something like what that. What the fuck? What? It, it's a different word. You're a sick fuck, though. Either way, you're a sick fucking fuck. <laughs> you're a sick fuck. Personally, personally, I like my girls 19 years old. Well, yeah, because they're legal age, quote unquote legal. <laughs> but yes, and sex between two consenting adults is fine. Yeah. But when you're fucking kids, you're not fine. <laughs> I don't. I, you're not fine. You're not fine. You're sick motherfucking fuck. And that, I ain't gonna, what, you know, what other words could I use to describe that? Um, supposition? No, there's proven facts to <coughs> Trump and Bill Clinton wrote on this goddamn fucking plane. Oh, all kinds of people. All, all, yeah, all these higher up fucking motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. Because they think they're great and powerful. And they can do whatever the fuck they want, including fucking... Under well, you know, I, I think I think a lot of it is and that we're supposed to fucking believe in these motherfuckers like they're some fucking god. I, I, like you know what? 
Shut it up, your goddamn fucking ass. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of it is a lot of them were convinced to do it uh, in order so that they would have some dirt to use on them. No, maybe. No, I, maybe I'm, I'm pretty sure. Up. I'm pretty that sure that. I wouldn't doubt that, but yeah. I'm yeah. just saying, don't fucking even put yourself in that situation where you are allowed to be set up. Right away when they're like, oh, you can fuck underage virgins, you would have been like, I'm staying the fuck away from that, you sick fuck. Well, I don't. I don't no, think. You don't I don't, have to go. Okay. No, 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 no. no. Okay. I don't I, see. I don't think it works. Oh, yeah, that. I don't think it works that way. this island. Okay. I, yeah. I, I, oh, I was forced to do this. They twisted I, my arm. Oh, I'm, I'm Give sure, me a fucking break. See, see, no. Moose, see, Moose. I'm sure that there were some that were uh, willing to, wanting to, desiring to, uh, but uh, I'm sure there were others that were convinced into it. Um, either via, you know, right. well, drugging. when you get drunk and you're high on coke and shit, yeah, right. you know, and you're parting your goddamn ass off, yeah, and they're you just say, fucking see you straight, you'll be like, oh, I'm gonna and, fuck and say, this girl, I'm gonna hey, look, fuck this look, girl. look, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and I say, hey, look, you know, we, we got this, uh, this place, we're gonna take you out there, we're gonna have some, we're gonna have fun right. with some girls, and then you get out there and, and you see that these are what they are, but you're so wasted right. at that point. Um, right. Yeah, you know. So I, I think a lot of them got 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 re- reeled into it because they needed to be able to control these people. And what they better, have it all. It will all come. Yeah, it's all gonna fucking come out. Yeah, it and matter. you're gonna realize that Donald Trump's just as much as a piece of shit as Bill fucking well, of course Clinton he is. and the rest of the motherfuckers. Uh, uh, all, wake the uh, fuck all, up! All, you fucking all those, sit here and tell people to wake the fuck up. Why don't you wake the fuck up? All bitch? those all those billionaires and people in power. They're fucking, all yep. Sick they're all connected. Did so. you ever fucking watch George Carlin news? He told you it's all a fucking club, and you're not in it. And I don't want to be in it. Thank you very no, much. You're not. And the Bushes <laughs> and the Clintons and the Trumps and all them motherfuckers are all friends with each other. All right, let's play some more music. Yeah. Fuck up. <laughs> yeah. You don't, no, it, it's but not it, true it, just because I fucking say so. I'm not the only one fucking saying it. So it, don't call it, me out personally, No, bitch, it's true, Free. You, know you know it's Everyone, true. A bunch of other people say it, too. Come on, Free, Slave. You... And I didn't say, because I said so, it's true. No, you know, you know it's true. That's not what I fucking said. <laughs> All right, let's fucking play some... Uh... Put shit in my fucking mouth, bitch. Let, 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 let's play some more music here. <laughs> I fucking don't like the goddamn taste of shit. Yeah, I'm so glad to hear that. Down my fucking, in my fucking mouth, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to play some jams here. And um, <laughs> enjoy these. We'll be back on the other side. Rory Gallagher. Hello, hello, hello. 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 All right. <laughs> There's, uh, once again, Billy motherfucking strings. Uh, doing a couple tracks there. I'm still here, and the last train to Clarksville. Uh, before uh, that, oh, where's my camera out here? <laughs> before that, uh, we had JD Simo uh, doing uh, with a little help from my friends, and we kicked it off with a Rory Gallagher sock puppet request. There, don't start me talking. Yeah, um, from back in 1990. So, uh, yeah, good music, man. Well, I like it anyway. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, people are funny. People are funny, you know. But I, I try not to uh, engage the folks in the chat on uh, matters where I strongly disagree during a live show because it's not really fair to them, you know. Uh, we're up here talking and stuff. And, uh, and and all they can do is chat, and it doesn't get recorded back. So it, it's right. not it's not yeah it's it's just not really fair to to uh, engage them from this perspective. Right. It, yeah, I'm trying to do a show, and you know to, to kind of get me like going on some certain issues. It's like <laughs> not the good time for it, you know. Yeah. You want to address it in chat? Go for it, you know. But during the show, <clears throat> pushing my buttons and shit, because you know you're going to get fucking, you know, I have emotions. I'm a fucking human being. Yeah. You know, and, See, and that's I don't where, like that, people that, that try that, to play on that. that that's where you, that's know? Where you I, I hate that tactic, because it's such a fucking below-the-belt fucking tactic. 
And, and that's that's where you and I differ, Moose, is because you know you are a human with emotions and. Right, but you you don't want to be. But Grim, you, you you can sit there and say, "Oh, I'm not. I have no emotions." I, 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 I'm like an you android. Know, I don't buy that. I, I don't buy that for a second. I, I'm, I'm like Commander Data. <laughs> yeah, you want to be, but you're not. As much as you can say, you know, because you do give a fuck uh, about certain things and certain people. So to sit there and go, oh, "You have no emotions," that's bullshit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's bullshit. Well, if no, I, I, I mean, I, my emotions. We can all not want to have them. Yeah, sure. There's certain times I don't want to feel the emotions that I'm feeling, maybe, but. You my, know, my, it, it's a natural thing being a human being. My my emotions are generally humor. Um, right. So <laughs> anyway, I got a tri I got a trio of uh, stories here. Actually, okay. two stories in one uh, reference document, if you want to put it that way. Um, yeah. Because <laughs> because they're they're really basically the same thing. Um, Okay, so here, here we go, and and uh, we 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 can hear we can hear uh, the emotions on this. Manholes in Berkeley will now be called maintenance holes. <laughs> <laughs> really? Ah, uh, yeah. So at a Tuesday night council meeting in uh, Berkeley, became the first city in America, hopefully the only one, uh, to ban the use of natural gas piping in new construction. But that was not the only utility-related issue they saw fit to attend to. No, there would be another matter on deck, eliminating the gendered connotations of words like manhole in the city municipal code. <laughs> They've codified that. No longer will the streets of, of Fair Berkeley be dotted with manholes, nary a woman hole or a non-binary hole in sight. Uh, with Tuesday night's vote, they have all transmuted into maintenance holes, which is a little different than front holes. You know, <laughs> it's just a whole different subject. That highest, hardest glass, uh, glass manhole cover finally shattered. The item originally on the council's agenda for March 12th was sponsored by council members Rigel Robinson, Cheryl Davila, Ben Bartlett, and Lori Droste. Uh, the ordinance eliminates all gendered pronouns from city code, code, replacing she and he with they. No more she's and he's. And they've got a list here of uh, the various uh, gendered terms versus the non-gendered replacement. So a bondsman will now be called a bonds person. A brother and or sister will be called a sibling only. A chairman will just be a chair or a chairperson. Craftsman will be craftspeople or artisans. Fireman, firewoman uh, will be firefighters. Uh, heirs, now this one I don't really get. How is an heir gendered? But whatever, they're going to just call them beneficiaries now. I don't I don't know how air is uh, gendered whatsoever. Journeyman is just going to be called journey. I, 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 what? what? I, it I, doesn't I, make sense. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's these people that get their at, their panties in a wad and haven't been laid in forever. Okay. Well, wait. Well, we're getting. Like, we're, oh, we're, 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 we gotta make, start making decisions for other people because we know better than them. Okay. Well, we're getting to some other stuff here. Uh, what? A maiden which I guess would be for, like, maiden name, uh, is going to be yeah. now called family. Uh, Ma male and female will now be called people of different genders. This is too fucking far, people. You okay. guys are crazy. Ugh. Manhole maintenance hole. Then this, this, one, this, this, this one here, this is the one I tweeted back to them on because uh, I was like, what? How could you do that? It says, man-made will now be called human-made, artificial, manufactured, machine-made, or synthetic. And, and then they, they use the word human a couple of the times. I tweeted back to them, how can you use human-made? You know, shouldn't you say person-made? Because human has the word man right in it. <laughs> yeah, manpower is now human effort. Uh, 
Master, which, I, did they use that for something? Anyway, they're going to call it Captain, Skipper, Pilot. Uh, men and women will be called people. Uh, but uh, human is still uh, still apparently a thing. Um, ombudsman is now called Ombuds. They just dropped the man off, that, off of that. Patrolman is just called Patrol or Guards. Policeman, Policewoman are just now Police Officers. Pregnant, and then they, they show women, woman or women, pregnant employees. So you have to refer to pregnant women as pregnant employees, you can't call them pregnant women, which, is there a pregnant man somewhere? I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, watchmen or guards, uh, the masculine pronoun includes the feminine, words referring to specific gender may be extended to any other gender. Sportsmen is just going to be called hunters. Well, what if they're a fisher? Or 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 something along those lines. Uh, I, <laughs> sorority sororities and fraternities are out now. You call them collegial collegiate Greek system residents. <laughs> but human, they still allow the human, and that's uh, that's got to be where you can't you can't. That's that's not right. How can you allow human, human? That's just, that's messed up. How are you spelling human? How do you spell human? H-U-M-A-N. Human. Yeah, but how are you, how, uh, never mind. No, they, that's the way they spelled it, human. Yeah. What, they call, what, what are we called, like, homo sapiens? Yeah. Isn't that like the, sure. the technical term for human? Homo sapien. Sure. A anyway. Yeah, homo uh, sapien. Then moving We're on. all that. Uh, th th then uh, moving on to Colorado. Okay. Um, Colorado. <laughs> yeah, Colorado. Um, Colorado State University terms America and Americans are not inclusive. So the <laughs> they're not inclusive. The latest example of higher education employees looking for something to keep themselves occupied comes from Colorado State University, where its Inclusive Communications Task Force Got that? Inclusive Communication yeah, Task Force wow. has deemed the words America. That dogs and cats and sheep and fucking moose and everything. Yeah. Anyway, so it, ha it has deemed the words America and Americans non-inclusive. According to Campus Reform, the school's inclusive language guide uh, lists terms and phrases to avoid and offers substitutes. All in the name of making everyone on campus feel welcomed, respected, and valued. Uh, um, America and Americans are on the list because America encompasses more than just the U.S. There's South America, Central America, Mexico, Canada, the, Car the Caribbean, uh, just to name a few of the 42 countries in total, the guide reads. This is why... Uh, the word Americano in Spanish can refer to anything on the American continent. While this is true, many Latin Americans do refer to those from the United States as Americanos, or at the very least, the term typically refers to uh, one from the U.S. as Norte Americano. It's, it's also very common is, is uh, esta Dona, what? I don't know how to say that word. Uh, one from the United States. Um, nevertheless, if you're still determined to use American, the, the guide says, you may uh, you you may be erasing other cultures and depicting the United States as the dominant country. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, so, yeah, a fluid gender hole, <laughs> a fluid gender front hole. Um. <laughs> so anyway, they have this PDF here uh, that you can uh, look at uh, as your guide to um, uh, inclusive language. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's insanity. I mean... Uh, Orwell's most um, crazy craziness could not have come up with something like this. It, it's it's just it's 
Oh, what the hell did I do there? It's just insane. Um, but, you know. <laughs> yes. And, I and, and the inclusive language guide is a living document with updates frequently made. <laughs> so, <laughs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> I wish I were. Uh, so anyway, so addicted is, is, you can't say the word addicted that, or you like nah, that. Nah, I can say whatever fucking word I want to goddamn fucking say. You, you can't, you can't call somebody a bastard. I can't do it. it Who's saying I can't? Uh, the uh, University of Colorado, apparently. They can't stop us all from saying whatever the Co fuck Colorado want to say. State, Colorado State University. Basket yeah, case. Fuck them. Basket case uh, is a term that originally referred to a person, usually a soldier from World War One, who lost all of their limbs. So you have to now just say, I'm nervous, you know, rather than saying I'm a Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to go by when you, you can't tell me what I'm going to goddamn fucking say, oh, yeah. bitch. <laughs> so, you taught me this language. You put the language in the movies and in the books and everywhere. You know, I'm supposed to not say it now? Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Apparently, apparently, cake walk or takes the cake is something. I'm not changing my fucking lingo. Uh, I don't get, I'll say if I see a guy that's dressed as a woman, I'll be like, "That's a dude dressed as a woman." Ra rather than I'll be saying, like, I don't, you know, rather than I mean, rather, but, 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 trying to make me think that you're actually a woman. But, but listen, but dude, listen, listen. The reason, the, 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 the reason, the reason you can't, or they, they don't want. I can't. <laughs> that, that they don't want you to say things like you cake. Get arrested? Okay, the, the the phrase cakewalk or takes the cake is slaves would covertly oh mock. Oh my God! No, Wait. stop, Grim. No, no, stop. you gotta listen. You gotta listen because this is interesting. No. Slaves would covertly mock white slave owners through exaggerated dance to mimic white aristocrats, right. perhaps unaware of the subversive origin of the dancing. Slave holders began holding balls for entertainment where slaves would perform these dances to win a cake. Of course. <laughs> so instead of saying it was a cakewalk, you say, that was easy. Oh, oh my fucking God. No, a anyway, no, they, gotta, no, they, gotta, they, no. They, they have a whole long list of various terms. Hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> hip, 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 hooray developed from the German word hep, hep, which is harmless, adorable, uh, call shepherds when when using their herd to herding their sheep, uh, but during the Holocaust, German citizens started using it as a rallying cry when they would hunt down the Jews who were living in the ghettos. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. A anyway, they, like I said, there's a whole Miss Mister Miss Misses or Miss Miss. Uh, while generally acceptable, using titles can be problematic. When you're not aware of the person's <laughs> gender identity. <laughs> oh, my God. This is insane. This, this, this is like, this, changing the language. Sorry, buddy. Not happening. <laughs> Wait, peanut gallery. This phrase, not uh, uh, this phrase, the, the, the phrase peanut gallery intends to reference hecklers or critics, usually ill-informed ones. In reality, the peanut gallery names a section in theaters, usually in the cheapest and worst, where many black people sat during the era of vaudeville. Um, <laughs> and they, they've got these bizarre explanations of why you can't use any of these uh, uh, things here. Um, even war, go to war, at war, it's, oh, you should say hostile environment. Well, I think it's a little more than a hostile environment uh, when, when you're at war. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, huh? Have, have, have hey, uh, thank you for tuning yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, there was that there. Um. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Gringos rooms. Gringos. Gringos. Not Americano. Well, I think we can be Americanos too, but Gringos. <laughs> All right. Wait, people. Gringos. All right. Earlier this week, over on Amazon was Prime Day, which is yeah. actually two days, fifteenth and the sixteenth, or Prime Day. Now, during Prime Day, and I imagine that probably at any time, but Amazon is offering a whopping $10 to Prime Day shoppers who hand over their data. Wow. 
<laughs> Amazon Amazon has a promotion for U.S. shoppers on Prime Day, the 48-hour marketing blitz that started Monday. Earn $10 of credit if you let Amazon track the websites you visit. What a deal. <laughs> so the deal is for new installations of the Amazon Assistant's a comparison shopping tool that customers can add to their browsers. It fetches Amazon prices for products uh, that users see at Walmart, Target, and other such sites. So ten bucks to sell yourself out. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Ooh, it's a wow. windfall. What a there, deal. There's a windfall right there for you. But you know, most people will probably said they're tracking me anyway, and I like that they track me. Um, so there it is. Uh, uh, uh. It's insanity. But people are, are just, yeah. It's no different than getting a Lexa or whatever in your house. Right, you know, well, it it's is. It's no different. It's, it's a little different because this way, instead, well, of, tra well, yeah. instead of tracking yeah, what, what, can be, what can be seen and heard in your house, this tracks what you're also doing on the web. Great. So, so they, they'll they track all of that stuff, and they'll be use, able to use that. Um, of course, it says Amazon, Amazon's combination of tools still pales in comparison to data collection by Alphabet, Inc.'s Google, um, which has tracking pixels on most web pages, meaning they know where your cursor is moving. So wow. as you move around the web page, yeah. they know what your cursor, what you're looking at, by what your cursor's looking at. Wow. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, don't say uppity. Oh. No. What? <laughs> don't say the word uppity. During, during segregation, southerners uppity. use uh, uh, southerners use uppity to describe African Americans who did not know their socioeconomic place, don't say uppity. Don't say, don't say Amazon's being all uppity. Oh, my God. <laughs> too far. Oh, God. <laughs> all right. Way too far. Here's a good one. Rule of thumb. The rule of thumb has been said to derive from the belief that English law allowed a man to beat his wife with a stick so long as it was no sicker than his thumb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean to go back over there, but I did. <laughs> uh, they're serious about this. <sighs> okay. I'll save that one for later. Got any stories? No. The only thing I got going on, which is kind of a cool thing, I think it's a cool thing. My son was like giving me shit. I'm like, no, it's a cool looking thing, and I'm going to see it too. All right, what's that? I think I talked about this last week, but it's the big boy steam engine. Oh, it's yeah. coming through Altoona. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we talked about it. that. It's an yeah. actual steam engine. Right. And it's going to be fucking cool, dude. It's to celebrate the 150th anniversary of the Transcontinental Railroad's completion. Right. And it's an actual steam engine. It's going to be coming through Eau Claire, going on its way to Altoona, and it's going to be fucking cool, dude. True, true. It's going to be fucking cool. <laughs> it's an actual running steam engine. Yeah. Train. You know, the things yeah. weigh a fucking ton or more. I don't know how much it weighs. Oh, many times. Push it away, man. Weighs one, many, many, how many. Much? One point six million pounds the thing weighs. That's a lot of tons. Yeah, and this is a. It's, they call it the big boy. It's an actual steam engine, a running, operating steam engine. And it's making a trek across the United States. It's going to be doing like a, it's coming from Cheyenne, and then it does like a turn around in Chicago. But then it's going out to PA or whatever, too, I think. Yeah. But, no, I, I know you think it's geeky, but I don't care. I, you no, know, I like it. I like, I like trains. Trains are cool. Oh, yeah. I mean, it would be cool. I mean, it's an actual steam engine train, like the old school, you know. Right. 
Which, why they got, got rid of steam technology, I don't know. You know, maybe it came not practical, I don't know, but... Well, somebody not, had to keep on... Well, it's not good for the environment. Some, somebody had to keep shoveling well, the coal in there, coal? man. Well, yeah, but compare that to how we burn coal after that. The diesel, uh, no, no. Uh, the thing, you get, the thing is, diesel's petroleum, though. The thing it's is, oil. Yeah. You gotta have oil for that. Then you gotta have a fossil fuel, right? Yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> either way, it's a fossil fuel, right? Right. But the thing is, uh, with with oil, you just put it in a big tank and it just keeps on going. But right. With, but with, what about? But with, weren't the original steam engines powered by wood? Yeah, but somebody had to be there to keep on stoking it. Right, to keep on stoking it. There was an actual dude that that was his job. To just put, keep wood and wood in there. I mean, how is that not environmentally sound? I, I mean, when you're using wood, <laughs> the, 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 I mean, it's like you can't use wood. I'm like, yeah, because they just covered coal, and so they started using coal instead of wood, right? So the train would move faster. That was the only advantage, correct? I, I don't know that. I don't know. But coal is dirty. Coal's dirty. You know, I mean, come on. They could have figured uh, it out a different way. Pretty they much could have kept using wood. Pretty much everything you burn is dirty. Well, I know, but more things are environmentally friendly than other things when you're burning them, right? Right. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Right. Why did they get rid of steam? And why did they get rid of using wood to fire the steam engines? Why did they switch to coal? Because there was some J.P. Morgan or some bitch out there wanted to get fucking rich, so they fucking, you know, right? Mm-hmm. So what did people use before coal? Wood. You already exactly. said Exactly. Yeah. Wood, motherfuckers. Goddamn fucking wood. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you know, wood is up for hot enough now, Matt's saying. Okay. To power all those big steam engines. Is power, that true? I, I don't know. I'm not a... <laughs> yeah. Coal is more abundant? No, coal had to be dug out of the goddamn ground, dude. Yeah, well, then there was oil. Trees, I mean, you can grow, you can, you know. Yeah, they had that oil to use and stuff, so... Whatever. I don't, I don't and know. And what now? They had oil. Oil. See now, my kid—he—he he was born in 2000, so he has no idea like how it was back in the day. Like, well, we don't know. Uh, we don't—we don't know what was going on in the 1800s either. So, no, we didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. There, of course, there wasn't steam engines in the 60s, so they got rid of them. Yeah. My point is, why did they get rid of them? Because oh, technology advanced. Yeah. Even though it was more toxic to the environment. Oh yeah, let's let's toxify the environment while we're being more advanced. Sure. Yeah, I don't get that. I don't get that argument. I don't get that. Okay, yeah. maybe I do. Maybe I am a retard, like Free and Slave said. Maybe I am stupid. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I am, but you know, maybe yeah. in some things I am. I'm. Like, I'll really admit that I'm fucking stupid in a lot of things. Like, well, ignorant. A lot of things. Hey, you know? yeah, I mean, yeah, I've yeah. seen a break shot happen, but I I can't go there and change my own brake pads. That, I mean, that that would be I ignorant, know. not stupid. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's play some more music here. Okay, let's do that. All right. Now this first song is a true story. <laughs> and the, the lyrics will show up there on the screen uh, for basically you. Basically, you did say it um, earlier today. You made a comment that I was being a retard. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Look, scroll up or scroll back if you need to check it out. But <laughs> no, no, you did. Oh, you basically God. called me a retard earlier today. All right, but all right. I'm okay, I'm okay. It doesn't hurt me. Uh, it, yeah, I'm good. I, I, it didn't hurt me. It didn't injure me in any way. She's tough. All right. Anyway, I this, am. I'm this, a tough this, motherfucker. But, this first song is a true story. The lyri <laughs> the lyrics will be on the screen, so you can follow <laughs> along and sing along with <laughs> right. the with the particular track here. This is a band called No FX. All right. And your boat, your son may like this. Uh, I don't know. All right. Here you go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, very nice, very nice. 
Robert Cray and Tina Turner doing A Change Is Gonna Come. That's a Miss Kate request out there for you. Great stuff. Before that, we had a band, and they're called the Cadillac 3, doing a track called Tennessee Mojo. Now, I, I tried to listen to some other music by the Tennessee 3, or Cadillac 3, I mean, and I think they're mostly country stuff. Uh, maybe more southern rock, I don't know. But uh, that that song was good, and the other songs I heard by them were not so good. Uh, but that song's cool. Uh, Tennessee Mojo. And we kicked it off with no FX. A true story. The idiots are taking over. <laughs> oh, man. <I> tell you. <laughs> there could not be anything more true than that. Yes, the idiots. The idiots are definitely have taken over, I guess I would say. As they did say in the song, that the idiots have taken over, but the title is The Idiots Are Taking Over. So, uh, yeah. It's it's a sad thing, but it is it is the truth. So. <laughs> Tobacco-y. tobacco -y? Oh, He's burning, I'm burning, I mean, I'm burning that too, but Oh, um, sage is not tobacco -y. No, not at all. No, sage is not. No, it's it's more incensey. Right. It's it's exactly. a good it's a good and it's more powerful than incense because it's a real thing. It's not man made. Yeah, it's a good cleansing herb. Well, and, and you know, yeah, it's very good to do to just like cleanse yourself or cleanse your home a, a, or whatever. A lot, a lot of a lot of a lot of the uh, a, a lot of the incense is made from from natural oils. Some of it is. You gotta get the right kind. Yeah, abs obviously. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah. Oh, no, I did not want to do that. So I think I think maybe people are waking up as far as aspartame goes. I don't know. I haven't seen like a real problem with it lately, or it's not been in the news lately. You know at yeah, all aspartame. Uh, but they're still using it in the product, so... Oh, yeah. So, this came out. This is on Daily Mail. Okay. Criticize me all you want. I'm posting a Daily Mail link. Okay. Yeah, damn I you. Know what that means. Damn like, you and oh your... Damn you and your... your I know. Oh, so that means I get all my information <laughs> from this, this site. Not true. All right. <laughs> Anyway, experts call for fresh ban, fresh ban, which I don't know what that means. Maybe they knew, uh, re, re, one re, re, redo, redoing a ban that they already had. I guess I, I don't know. Right. Yeah. Our, our, our seriously flawed artificial sweetener used in thousands of products, including Coca Cola and Pepsi, over safety fears. Right. Well, it says British experts have cast doubt on the safety of an artificial sweetener used in thousands of products, including big brand diet soft drinks from Coca Cola and Pepsi. Uh, academics at the University of Sussex, Sussex claim that a European food watchdog assessment <clears throat> giving a clean bill of health to aspartame, a calorie-free sugar alternative, was seriously flawed. Imagine that. Imagine that. Uh, as a result, he's calling for the, suspens the suspension of authorization to sell or use aspartame in, the, in Europe pending independent investigation. He argues that anything from 2 to 10% of consumers suffer neurological effects. Yeah, I agree with that. It's probably higher. Why don't they just use stevia? Uh, well, whatever. They don't. They use this because it's a, it's a neurotoxin. <laughs> right. And they're evil, and they're sick, and they, they're fucked. Yeah. So, like, when I worked at the place I worked at for four years, I felt really bad for some of the people there. And I feel bad for anybody that thinks that it's okay to consume this, this substance. I really do. I feel bad for people. Like, I seriously feel sadness for them. I, I Maybe just, you know, people think that I'm this big badass, you know, which I have a persona, you know, and everybody does. You know, don't tell me you don't. You know, I just happen to be on an internet radio show. Besides that, I'm just a fucking normal person, dude. You know? Oh, wait, so normal. I, I yeah, have right. emotions, you know? Even though I, you know, some people want to 
Wait, suppress wait, their emotions. Wait. I'm not one of them kind of people. Wait, wait, wait. Normal person implies that other people <laughs> are not whole or regular people. No, I'm my own person, I said. Not a whole person. And and, and for for the <laughs> for, for the term normal person, there is no replacement as it is never appropriate to use this <laughs> phrase to describe a person. <laughs> yes, normal to me is a sitting in a washing machine or a dryer. Oh, no, it's there's no such, there's no true definition of normal. <laughs> For anybody. That, 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 that well, again. what I'm saying is, is that I have emotions, just like everybody. All right. Yeah. And you can deny them all you want, but you still got them, Grim. You know, you can sit there and go, "Oh, I don't feel anything for anybody. I don't give a fuck." I'm a blah, blah, blah. no, you no. There is a point in you that does give a fuck. Okay. It might not be a highest percentage of the rest of us, but there is a percentage in you that does give a fuck. I might be Vulcan. You don't know. Yeah, well, maybe. But if you're a human, then that doesn't work. The Vulcan thing doesn't work. That, just throw that out the window. Anyway. So, yeah, talking about Sage, right? Right. All right. Sage is a very beneficial pro or substance. It's a very beneficial plant. Great stuff. White sage. Just like weed. Just like, yep. Yeah, white sage is the best, but there's also other kinds of sage, and they have the same effect. Um, to burn sage, it, you, you can clear your yourself. You can clear your home. Wherever you are, if you start burning sage, you're, like, clearing it out. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean by clearing? You're clearing all the bad shit out. You're cleansing yeah. the area. And people go, oh, well, that's just hocus pocus. That doesn't mean shit. Is it bullshit? It don't. Yeah. It works. It works. Right, right. And so I believe in it wholeheartedly. Whenever oh. I'm feeling like a little bit fucking, I don't know what the word is, but out of sorts probably. Or anyway, you know, like, we're, we're still in this uh, Mercury retrograde stuff. Exactly. So. And I've been feeling it, dude. I've it's, been feeling it. It's, like, it's, it's messing with like, people. Yeah, what is going on? I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And so I'm like, whenever I feel like that, I start burning some sage or I burn some, you know, maybe incense or I burn some palo wood or whatever. And you just, you, you, you just work through it. Sure, sure. No, you don't get all fucked up. You don't, you know, you just fucking... Do your normal thing, but, you know, sometimes you got to pay attention to yourself. You know, most people, we've been taught that if something's wrong, to go to the doctor and get a pill. Right. But right. that isn't how it used to be. <laughs> Not too long ago. Okay. There used to be people that you could go to that knew the plants and knew the healing properties of all these plants. They're still out there. Oh, yeah, they're still out there, but they're hard to find. Yeah. And so they have to be underground still, pretty much, because the FDA is a powerful fucking bitch, dude. Yes, they are. And they don't like them people. They don't like natural people. No, they do not. They don't like people in general, but they don't really don't like people that are practicing natural medical uh, techniques. Right. It right. cuts into the profits of their masters. Right. These, it doesn't, you, you're not big, complying. You're masters. not fucking going with the program here. <laughs> so that means you're evil and you're bad and you're stupid too. Evil. That's the message we're going to send to you. <laughs> yeah. All right. But, okay. I, yeah. I, I came, I came across this article here and okay. they want to share with y'all. Cause I, I read the, I read the title and I thought, how am I hearing myself? You can hear you. I can hear you. No, no, I was hearing myself. Oh, okay. Thing there. Anyway, so I came across this article and I thought, how is this even possible? I, I mean, you you tell me how it's possible. FBI to ramp up surveillance of Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now, I thought the FBI already had 100% full spectrum surveillance going on these things. But they said they're going to ramp them up. 
<laughs> anyway, this is on uh, activistpost.com here. It says the FBI plans to step up its efforts to gather information from social media, issuing a call last week for a new tool to monitor Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram and other platforms in a timely fashion. <laughs> Citing the use of social media by terrorist groups, domestic threats, criminal organizations, and foreign intelligence services, the FBI needs re near real-time access to the full range of social media exchanges in order to obtain the most current information available, which all you got to do is read the, read the sites. Everything's real-time on there. Anyway, in, in addition to information such as user IDs, the feds are interested in your email, your IP, your telephone number, and likely aliases used over social media. Uh, the tool would also allow for location-based tracking, persistent keyword monitoring, and access to one's personal social media history. Uh, the FBI justified the tool by claiming it is in response to an increasing number of threats to the United States national interests that are identifiable with ever greater frequency through social media platforms. And they ask at the end here, can't they just ask the NSA? <laughs> I mean, seriously. <laughs> they're already gathering all this stuff in real time. I don't, I don't know what the hell they're, how they could possibly ramp it up any further uh, unless they, like, stick a camera up your ass or something. Uh, it, it doesn't even make any sense of how they could possibly ramp up surveillance from 100%. But uh, what do I know, Right. Right. I, 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 I don't know. It's it's weird. It's weird. Okay, one of the big stories this week. Okay. Uh, at least one of the big fake news, trumpeted, trumpeted news stories. <laughs> Was that the United States over there in the uh, Persian Gulf, I believe it's Persian Gulf, uh, straight, straight to Hormuz, uh, shot down an Iranian drone that they said was encroaching upon one of their boats, the USS Boxer, which is that named after Barbara Boxer? I, I don't know. Uh, anyway, Iran says, and not only says, but have a video proving the United States is a lying bunch of scumbags and they didn't shoot down no Iranian drone. <laughs> <laughs> so there, uh, Tehran denied Donald Trump's statements claiming that the United States ship in the Strait of Hormuz had downed an Iranian drone that allegedly flew too close to the vessel, uh, which uh, they said, oh, we tried communicating with it. Well, it's a freaking drone. What's it going to say to you? But um, <laughs> and it got within a thousand meters, which is a kilometer. It's, it's like almost a mile away. No, well, not quite, but. You know, pretty close. Uh, so, um, so something which care, you, uh, Washington is characterized as defensive action, but Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, the IRGC, has released video footage of the USS Boxer amphibious assault ship taken from that same drone that the U.S. claimed it had downed. Uh, the video was published in the official rebuttal of U.S. statements regarding the drone's fate and as proof that it had safely returned to its base. So, um, I guess the United States wanted to say, look, they may have shot down one of our drones, which was in their airspace, and so we shot down one of their drones, which was not actually, not really even close to us. But, uh, yeah. And then, well, they didn't. <laughs> It says, earlier, an anonymous source in the White House told Reuters that it has solid evidence the U.S. downed an Iranian drone. Yeah, solid evidence, right. Solid lies. 
U.S. President Donald Trump stated on 18th of July that the boxer, which was sailing through the Strait of Hormuz, <laughs> had shot down the drone. He claimed that uh, it had approached within 1,000 yards and had not responded to warnings. Again, it's a drone. How's it going to respond to your warnings? <laughs> anyway, so uh, I ran and said, you're full of shit, and here's the video to prove it. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, come on, guys. Well, I, I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't. You know, you want to make up lies, then, then at least try and make ones that, that can't be disproven so easily, easily. Do you hear me? Oh. <laughs> oh God. You said easily. I said easily. Okay. This one, you probably heard this this next story already, but I think it needs to be put on record here on the Freaker's Ball uh, because holy hell, and and we okay. have and we have talked about ticks here before. All right. House of Representatives quietly orders the Pentagon to tell Congress if it released weaponized ticks. The Pentagon may right. have the, the Pentagon may have weaponized ticks and then released them, either accidentally or purposely. So some Americans have long been concerned that tick-borne illness, as the result of the United States government weaponizing insects, have been labeled conspiracy theorists um, for for making such claims. But now, some members of the United States House are voicing their own concerns that the Pentagon may have actually, in fact, no question about it, weaponized disease-carrying ticks and released them, either accidentally or on purpose. Unbeknownst to many, the House voted last week to require the Pentagon Inspector General to inform Congress of experiments involving disease-infected ticks. The amendment was quietly adopted via voice vote on July 11th during a House debate on the fiscal 2020 defense authorization bill. Uh, Republican Representative Christopher Smith from New Jersey authored the amendment and ordered the Pentagon Inspector General to conduct a review of whether the Department of Defense experimented with ticks and other insects regarding use as biological weapons between 1950 in 1975 and we're just hearing about it now some many 40 years later uh, 40 odd years later uh, Smith is the co-chairman of the Congressional Lyme Disease Caucus they have a Congressional Lyme Disease Caucus what? anyway and advocates for increased awareness of the disease and funding for research into finding a much needed cure for the disease they can't even tell if you got it, really. Uh, that is diagnosed between 300,000 and 427,000 times every year, despite the diagnosis being notoriously difficult to come by. Anyway, um, yeah. Yeah, somebody did, Vinny. It was a pretty decent show that I heard on RLM Radio. Yeah. But it was Vinny himself. It was Vinny himself. Yeah, very good show, Vinny. <laughs> I listened to most of it. But there's it another good. conspiracy theory. Uh, and we don't want to say proven yet because <laughs> uh, because uh, the DOD has the Pentagon has not yet admitted to weaponizing <laughs> ticks forty odd years ago. Right. Um, <laughs> Weaponized ticks, how fucking wonderful! And and you wonder why they're uh, getting up to close to a half a million. Uh, cases that are actually di diagnosed per year, uh, meaning that there's probably a whole lot more than that because they yeah. mis they misdiagnose most of these cases. Right, there is true. Uh, yep. So uh, I don't know. I don't know what you could say on that. Um, yeah, you know, I wouldn't put anything past these motherfuckers. They're evil as fuck and they're sick as fuck and. You, even if you could be friends with them and in the same club with them, you really probably wouldn't want to be because they're fucking evil. And you just don't want nothing to do with it. I mean, I wouldn't. 
I don't know, you know, support these motherfuckers, are you kidding me? Oh, well, happy birthday to I, you, kid. Fuck you, sick fox. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking little girls ain't cool. Fucking yeah. killing babies and drinking their blood ain't fucking cool. Uh, I'm just saying, you know. It, it's true. It, no, it's none of that shit is cool. Yeah. Um, no, no. All right, we're going to play a couple more songs here. Okay. We'll come back with a couple of baby tech stories or something. Um, let's see, let's see. Sorry, Graham. I'm sorry. That was like what? crude, but what you was know. what was crude? The statement that I made. No, I, I, that's a good. That's a, that's a perfectly fine statement. Fucking. All right, thank you. Fucking little girls is not cool. No. <laughs> no. No, it is not. <laughs> it, 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 something's wrong if you have this. Is like, uh, yeah, never if, mind. If, if you're out there trying to fuck children, well, you. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, I, that's, I, I got. Yeah. I got no space for you. I got no yeah, room for you. No, nothing. You're, you're nothing. fucking. You're you're at, you're stupid. You're dumb. You're you're, you're, you're low. You're, well, you're, there's something wrong with you. You're sick. You're a sick, yeah, sick person. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Big. All right. All right. Anyway, y'all know the, y'all y'all know the words to this first song. So feel free to sing along there in your own homes. All right. Let's do it. Sing it out, people. Oh yeah. Come on now. Don't be shy. Oh, yeah. That's some nice, very nice stuff there. Gary Clark Jr. Uh, live at the Surf Lodge doing When My Train Pulls In. Just beautiful. Uh, also, speaking of just beautiful, right before that, a musical request. Warren Haynes doing Soul Shine on the acoustic. And we kicked it off there with uh, Leo Moraccioli covering John Denver's Take Me Home. Country roads. <laughs> oh, Leo. <laughs> Cracks me up, man. Oh, dude is so freaking funny. <laughs> yeah. That was funny. I like that. I like that song, actually, oh, that version of it. <laughs> okay, well, I, I rambled on a little too long before that last That's set. All right. to, uh, That's actually all right. Get, I probably did too. Get, I'm sure I did. You know, to, to, to actually get to any more stories. Yeah. I, have, I have some tech stories for you, but they'll they'll still save. You know, yeah, they're, they're, you can you can sell those until your your Monday show or the next week or whatever. Yeah, right. Yeah, whenever, man. So and we uh, will get to them. Absolutely, we will. Um, you know it. We will. Yeah, we all we always do. But uh, right. you know, I I I I hope you all are uh, enjoying the uh, RLM radio, Real Liberty Beauty here. I um, hope so. Not all, but most of you. Most of you, yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, and uh, I hope you have a good weekend and such. Yeah. Um, uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna sign off before we play the final song. Uh, yes. Because uh, you know time is short. We're out of time, right? Yeah. You know, what time, happens? Time is short, and, and we so, go with uh, the flow here. Yeah, you know, whatever happens, happens. Um, but right. uh, tomorrow, tomorrow you got the dork table going on there with Flash and uh, yep. whoever joins him. 11 a.m. Central a, Time. It's kind of an open 12 forum. 12 a.m. You know? or 12 p.m. Yeah, Eastern yeah. Time. It's kind of an open forum, so anybody wants to jump in. Uh, yeah, you know, if you have wire, you can call into the show. You could be heard. You 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 could be on the radio. Fucking a right. On the internet radio, and then uh, on Sunday I'll be on with the the blues, uh, quarter to noon Eastern. Um, mm -hmm. It's supposed to be noon Eastern, but you know I, I started. Yeah, you know it. whatever. So you know, I'm sitting there. It, 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 it doesn't matter. Like time is irrelevant, right, Grim? Uh, for for the most part, but we gotta we yeah, gotta. You we, know, but you we know, do have to schedule we, our we shows. So. by time and to believe in this this thing called time and. Yeah, we, you we, know, we do. We do have to. It's a construct. I mean, think about it. You know. It, it is, but but again, like I said, we do have to schedule our shows, so we do. Um, you know, there, and so that. we have to abide by time. Anyway, I, I run that uh, the blues and the trivia there uh, right up until three p.m. Eastern time, which is when yep you take a little trip behind the woodshed and get yes, that big do. old can of whoop ass opened up. Yep, it opens right up. Mister Hal Anthony will be will be taking you there. And or hopefully they don't trick, trick us ain't chirping loudly. You know, hopefully they're not chirping. Hopefully they're, like, listening. 
Yeah, yeah let's, sure. let's, let's hope them crickets actually. Yeah, let's do that. Quit, let's quit, hope for that. Quit and, sitting there uh, chirping yeah, and actually maybe you'll learn something. do something. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Vinny. Thank you, everyone. Uh, and again, I'll be back on Monday evening at 7 p.m. Eastern with the Grim Leftovers. Right. And, um, Tune into that, people. Yeah, it's, this is an hour show, but I pack a lot into an well, hour. Well, you the podcast, so if you miss it, it's not a big game. You can always listen to it. Yep, and go ahead, feel free, check the schedule there on com for all the rest of the shows right. on RLM Radio. And if anybody else wants to do a show on Real Liberty Media Radio. Right, I dare you. I dare you to do a show, even just one show, one time. I don't necessarily like, dare you, but I challenge you. Right, well, I do. I, I dare people. I, I, like, I challenge you. If I can do yourself. this, and anyone can fucking do this, if you got something to say, you want to be heard, you best be doing a radio show. Yeah. Otherwise, you... you know what? Your balls ain't as big as mine or as strong as mine. So, uh, waiting for the... Uh, the Gooberzilla spaceships, everything's getting better show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. You know, I would tune into that. I would. I was yeah. the battery making tutorial show. Yeah. So here's you know, this. You know, to give me whatever you want. We're not, I'm not going to tell you what to do on your show. Absolutely it's your show. Not. Anyway, so here's this, and we'll, yeah. we'll see you next week. We will. Enjoy, people. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Peace. Peace.